Germany's unprovoked invasion in June 1941 caught Maharashtra unawares. We paid a terrible price for trusting the Führer and his fascist dogs. Their army swept across our land, well trained and well equipped, stopped only at the gates of Moscow before being driven back. While millions of Russia's sons and daughters paid the ultimate price for victory, they showed the world Germany can bleed too. The fascist war machine now thirsts for the bounty of Baku's oil fields and our beloved Stalingrad. But they will be denied. No more will we abandon our people in the face of Nazi aggression. Here, in Stalingrad, we stand. Here, we destroy the German invaders or die trying. The Germans think our 62nd Army is on the verge of collapse. They are wrong. We are bruised, but stand ready to defend Stalingrad to the last man. We hold the city for now, though our only safe passage for reinforcements and supplies is across the Volga. Our artillery is being moved to the far back, still able to do its job, but harder for the Germans to target. Now we take the fight to them, reclaim every apartment block, street and factory taken in the name of their precious leader. Our forces will stay close to those of the enemy, turning their every waking moment into a nightmare. Each will know they are in our sights and that death is coming for them. Our outer defensive line must hold as long as possible so we can marshal Stalingrad's defenses. Once a position is prepared, a Soviet soldier will only withdraw. Once their ammunition is spent, the building is in ruins and their coats are on fire. We will grind down the invader's spirit and when it finally breaks, surround the German forces and crush them. Thirty-first of August, 1942, Spartanovka. Comrades, this is where you start the fight for Mother Russia. The fascist invaders are trying to break through to the Volga at our backs. They will not be allowed to succeed. The fascists are already at the outskirts of Spartanovka. We cannot and will not retreat, comrades. We have our orders to defend here. And it is also our duty as soldiers of the Red Army. Our duty to all the peoples of our Union. So we will defend this village with our lives. Establish a defensive position on the ruined church at the top of the street. They will attack from across the open ground on the other side through the galleys. Cut them down as they come. You will not retreat from there. But if you fail or die trying, the second echelon will hold the line in the first and second housing blocks. Any of the invaders who make it that far can be killed in amongst the houses they are trying to take from us. And if all else fails, if the fascists can make it that far, we will make a final stand in the town hall. I will make my stand there if I have to. With what is left of the brigade, together we will defeat them, comrades. We are soldiers of the Red Army. There will be no surrender, no retreat. By Stalin's orders, we will have victory or death. Hurrah!
Stop it. 